Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Event Decor and Designs by Aisha and welcome back. Well, I am here again because I am going to show you how to sublimate pillowcases. I am going to be sublimating this red pillowcase and this is 100% polyester. All right, I purchased these from Amazon and I'm going to be link leaving the link in the description box. This is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission if you purchase from the links below, which will help out my channel. And this is at no extra cost to you. So thank you for supporting my channel. But I will be linking these. And this, I got the um, two reds. All right, two red pillowcases. And I have a, whoops, I have a white pillowcase right here. So I have two reds and a white. Um, and I'm going to show you the designs that I'm going to be putting on these. All right. Well, actually, I'm just going to use one of the red. I'm going to use one of the red and the white. But this is the design that I'm going to be putting on here. And I made this design, this design right here. And I'm going to be adding this to probably either my red or my white pillowcase. I'm not sure exactly yet which one because I want the colors to pop. All right, so I'm going to be using this, and um, I designed this uh, myself. This is myself, my husband, and my kids, and our dog. All right, this is our dog here, and at the top, I just put Merry Christmas. All right, and the other design that I'm going to be using is this one that I did right here, and it says Merry Christmas, baby, and I decided to put the red truck with the Santa Claus here in the red truck with the gifts on the back and a tree. All right, so I think I might put this one on the red um, pillowcase and put the other design on the white pillowcase. I don't know yet. So let's go over to the heat press and see how this turns out. All right, everyone, so I'm at my heat press. I'm gonna let my heat press warm up. And I've already put my butcher paper down. Remember, you just put your butcher paper down so it catch any ink that may um, come through whatever it is that you are supplementing. All right, and it has a zipper here. So what I did, I went ahead and unzipped it. And I'm just gonna add my other piece of butcher paper directly on the inside of my, um, my pillowcase, all right? And this again is just to catch any um, ink that may come through. Now, one thing I did forget to show you is that it is 100% polyester. I don't know if you can see that, but it says it right here. Cover 100% polyester, all right? So I'm gonna leave the link in the description box for you to check it out if you would like. All right, so I'm just going to place this on the inside of my pillow case, just like so. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm not going to press this zipper underneath, you know, the, the, the um, heat press. I'm gonna have my zipper to hang down because I do not want to to get under the heat press just in case it may, you know, heat it up too much or it may um, cause it to where it won't zip. So I don't want that. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it hanging down. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do now is take my lint brush and roll it but first I gotta take this off you always take the other part off when, if you use your lint roller for another project all right just take it off Oops. all right so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to roll it just lint roll it here really well just to get any lint or anything off So now I have lint rolled my pillowcase. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take my, um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little heat to it. And just, that is just to get any moisture out because it is at the desired setting. All right, so I'm just gonna just press it for, for a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry. 
right. So. All right, so now I have my design. All right. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it and just apply it to my pillowcase. Just make sure everything is like I want it. Okay. I'm just going to take it and just apply it like so. All right. And I'm just going to take some heat tape and put heat tape on it so that it will hold in the position where I want it. All right. So I've added my heat tape. And what I'm going to have to do. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just apply my butcher paper on top, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and press it. All right, and I'm pressing for 30 seconds, and if 30 seconds is not enough, I just go back and press it for um, some more time, okay? Finished. Let me just take a peek. All right. So what I was telling you about when you can see your design or whatever it is that's coming through the paper, that means that um, a lot of times that the um, design has um, soaked into your shirt or your pillowcase. In my case, what I'm doing, and as you see, you see the design through this paper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the paper to see how everything looks. All right, let's do it. Y'all ready? Let's see, let's see. All right, one, two, three. Oh, uh, now this right here, it did not, um, right here on the end with my daughter's face, it kind of guided a little bit. Uh -oh, I'm trying to pull this off, y'all. Pull this off so I can show you. All right, so everything else came out really good. All right, so here's the paper. Um, all right, so everything came out pretty good. Um, I like it, it looks good. The only thing here, if you see this, um, it's just a corner here with my daughter's face. It kind of got cut out right here. Maybe because I had to kind of move it a little bit. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But guess what? It's going to be all right. I'm just going to use it. Um, I'm going to put it on my couch. Um, so this is how it turned out. And it's still beautiful. It's still a beautiful pillow that I'm going to be using. And like I said, just this part of my daughter's face. Um, it's just the corner here. did not come all the way come all the way out but I love it and I am going to be putting this on my couch I have some poly fill that I'm going to be using to add um, you know do the fill for the pillow all right so now I'm going to be doing the red pillowcase all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the red pillowcase I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it go ahead and put the butcher paper in I'm gonna be using this butcher paper because no ink came off of my other pillowcase all right so i'm going to be doing the same with this one just adding the butcher paper on the inside of the pillowcase just in case any um anything want to come out you just be careful and just put it up in there and just just in case any ink want to come through it will catch the butcher paper all right and remember i put some at the bottom here to protect my heat print all right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll my pillowcase. All right, just like so. All right, go ahead and put that to the side. So now I'm going to just press it a little bit just to give it a little heat, get any moisture or anything out of it. And this pillowcase, as I forgot to tell you, these pillowcases are kind of like the velvety type material. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna heat it a little bit with the heat. All right, just like so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my design that I made. Remember my Merry Christmas baby, the Santa in his red truck. And I'm just gonna find a spot where I want it, right here in the middle. 
All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my heat tape, my tape right here. All right, so I've added my heat tape here and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my butcher paper right here. Make sure there's no ink on it, which it's not. And I'm just gonna take it and place it over, like I showed you before, and go ahead and apply some heat. I'm just trying to have my zipper in the way. I'm going to go ahead and press it. I have it for 30 seconds at 330 degrees. So let's check it. All right, and it's looking like it's going to be cute, y'all. All right, it's still hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And as you see, I don't know if you can see it, but the design is showing through. All right, so. This is so cute. I thought, I think it would really look good if I had a did it on maybe the white um, pillowcase just because of the color of it, I think. Um, but you know what? You still can see it. And I love it. This is really pretty. All right. So there's the design again. All right, so let me bring you in so you can see it. All right, so here it is right here. And as you see, it says Merry Christmas, baby. It has the Santa with the red truck and the tree. Now, I think that it would have looked better if I had to put it on the white, um, the white pillowcase that I showed you that I put me and my family's picture on. Um, but it's okay. I wanted to try this out. And next time I know to put it on the white one. All right. And I think this, maybe the, I think the darker color would look better with a lighter um, color. And the lighter color would look better with a darker color because it may, you know, make it pop more, make it look better. But these colors are beautiful. I'm using Cosmos ink. All right. And um, I love it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to be using putting polyfill in here and making this as my Christmas pillow. I think I'm going to put it on my couch or either in my bedroom. All right. The same way I did the other pillowcase. All right. So that's the red pillowcase. And here's the white pillowcase that I made with um, my family's picture with our picture on and our dog. All right. And it says Merry Christmas. All right, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, leave those also. If you have any suggestions um, on something I can do better for in, in, the ones of you who have been doing sublimation for a while, any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Any comments, any questions, please leave them below. All right, you all have a great day. Be blessed, and I will see y'all in my next video. Also, Merry Christmas. Bye.